Greetings and welcome once again to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for this opportunity that you have given us to minister God's word and pray together. Don't bear false witness. The ninth commandment says in Exodus chapter 20 and verse 16, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Now, two or three witnesses were needed in ancient Hebrew law to, to establish a claim under a civil or political crime. Since judgment based on false testimony was, could destroy the life or a property of a person, this could be a severe judgment in the Old Testament. But the commandment against bearing false witness has a much broader application. Outside the context of the courts, the term means slander. It is possible to bear false witness or slander by spreading rumors. Frequently, people say untrue things about us or about others. Marriages are broken because of false rumors that somebody has opened up. Reputations of, of honest people have been damaged because of false witnesses. Christians not only believe falsehood, but also pass these stories on without investigating them. God commanded His people in the Old Testament and His people today not to lie because lying breaks relationships. How could we have good relationships with other people when we are constantly lying with each other? This would be almost an impossible task. Everyone would be suspicious of each other and constantly on the edge. This is the essence of what it means to bear false witness. It means lying and since God always tells the truth, He wants us as His children to always speak the truth. In fact, Jesus is the truth that came into the world to bear this truth. To follow Jesus means to live in the spirit of truth whom the Father sends. It means witnessing to the truth of the faith even to the point of death. In other words, we are to live in communion with God. We must consent to live in truth. We must consent to speak the truth at all times. There's a perception often counts for reality not everyone may care for the truth, but this commandment reminds us that God cannot be fooled. Let us walk in truth. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for your word. We thank you that your Holy Spirit enables us to walk in this God kind of truth. We pray, Lord, that we will not bear false witness, but and not slander or rebuke people, O oh God, but we will be people who will exhort and encourage and build each other up for your purposes. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.